on the menu today, Greek pistachio. Pastizio. Pastizio. Greek pastizio. With the French steak sauce. So my dear friend George Columbus would be very proud of me cooking a little Greek dish with pastizio, but this time with a little French accent. So I've got some beautiful fatty lemons here, but we're gonna start with the onion and the garlic, some olive oil into the pan. Of course, a little bit of butter, because I said I will bring a little bit of French accent to the dish. And then let's get on with the onions. And I always cook the onions for about a, a minute before I start adding the garlic because the garlic cooks quicker and I don't want to burn it. Now add the garlic in. Lamb mince. Just ask your butcher to mince some lamb for you and ask him to put a little bit of fat into it because the fat is where the flavor is. Beautiful cumin. A little bit of cinnamon some oregano yeah, and tomato paste. It's smelling absolutely amazing. Let's start adding a little bit more ingredients for the sauce. I've got a tin of cherry tomatoes. I love using the cherry tomatoes because it's nice and sweet. And now, a little French accent to the Greek dish, as I said, the French steak sauce. Now I'm gonna reduce the heat Simmer this for a few more minutes until it makes a beautiful, gorgeous ragu. Usually when you do a ragu, it takes a, a long time to cook to really get a lot of flavor out of every ingredient that you put in it. But the French steak sauce is what cuts this recipe in half because it brings all the flavor that you will usually get into reducing that sauce forever. That, in the next 20 minutes, Done. Let's do a little bechamel. 50 grams of butter that I'm gonna melt and flour. So basically we're making a roux. So butter, melted, flour, in, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of mustard to that roux. Cook the roux for about two minutes so the flour gets cooked up, and then the milk. And the milk, Change your spoon to a whisk and slowly add your milk so you don't get any, what's the word? Lumps, lumps. Now into this beautiful French bechamel, I'm gonna turn it to a Greek bechamel with the cheese call Actually, let me, because um, it's, it's a Greek word and I'm not very good at it. Kefalotiri. One more time. Kefalotiri. Kefalotiri. I don't think the, pronunci the Greek pronunciation is exactly that. Kefalotiri. So how are you going to do that one? Kefalotiri. <laughs> it's a beautiful Greek cheese, sheep milk, dish is salty and melts like crazy. Shit milk. Shit milk. <laughs> so do I again? Um, my, 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 the people who are just filming around me, I, I've just mentioned that it sounded like shit milk. But sheep milk. <laughs> Meh milk. A little bit of kefalotary cheese, the Greek beautiful sheep cheese, goes straight into the bechamel. And the rest, you keep it to put on top of the little pasta layer. Now, let's talk about the type of pasta that the pasticcio usually require, which is a little bit like a, it's a little, small, little tube pasta, macaroni style. We decided to use those beautiful pasta shells. They're actually gorgeous, I love them. We're gonna feel them individually, but you know what's beautiful about those shells? When you put your ear to it, it feels like you hear grease. Oh my God, look at my car. Mate, that's a 69 Valiant Pacer. Do you understand, huh? Relax. Relax, So I've cooked my pasta shells, which I expanded a little bit, so there's a little bit more space to fill 
this beautiful ragu that I actually reduced and then stopped the heat and cool it down a little bit because I don't want to burn my fingers. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of the bechamel with a cavallo tari cheese on the bottom. And now the fun begins. A little bit of the ragu inside the shell. And then let's build spastadish. So now it's nice and full with those beautiful uh, pasta shells and mince the ragu. I'm gonna drizzle the rest of this beautiful bechamel too. The mustard and the cafeteria cheese just really works in the bechamel. Now I've got more ca califet ca cafe terry cheese. It's gonna play with me for the rest of the recipe, that cheese. And for a little bit more of greatness, I've got some beautiful feta that I'm gonna cram over the top of this. Then we're gonna bang it in the oven. You know what I love about my job is, is you use all your senses when you cook. And the sense that I'm trying to use right now is the smelling one. The scent, the sense. It's smelling good. Oh, M, G. Beautiful, crispy cheese, melted cheese over the top. It's smelling absolutely amazing. Now, I want it to be a little bit fancy, so I've fried some sprigs of oregano. And that is my beautiful pasticcio. Bon appétit. <laughs> 